recurring and terminating decimals. We know how to convert a fraction to a decimal. We do the top divided by the bottom, numerator divided by denominator. So on my calculator here, 1 divided by 4 equals 0 0.25. If we had preferred, we could have divided this with a written algorithm. So 1 divided by 4, we set up our division. 4 into 1 does not go. Put a decimal point and a 0. 4 into 10 goes twice. 2 times 4 is 8, so I've got a remainder of 2. Put down the 2 and another 0. And 4 into 20 goes 5 times. So you'll see that we got our answer of 0 0.25, both with the calculator and checking with the written algorithm. This decimal finishes. There's no remainder. So it doesn't keep going for more division as we have to add more and more zeros. This is called a terminating decimal. Terminating means ending. Our next one, 2 divided by 5, 0 0.4. Another terminating decimal. 1 over 3, however, have a look what happens. 0 0.3333333 and it just keeps going forever, apparently. This is a recurring decimal and rather than write it with lots and lots and lots of threes, even if we put three dots on the end to say, hey, this keeps going, we write recurring decimals with two different possible notations. Notation, just a way of writing. We put dots over the repeating segment or we can put a line over the repeating segment because sometimes it's more than one number that repeats. Now in this one, one third, we can write 0 0.3 and put a dot over the 3 and that says this 3 repeats or some people prefer to write 0 0.3 and put a bar over the repeating part. If you want, you can divide out one third. I have to find some space. One divided by three. We set up our algorithm. Three into one doesn't go. We put a decimal point, make it 1.0. 3 into 10 goes 3 times. That's 9. 3 times 3. That has one remainder. Put down our next 0 and our remainder. 3 into 10 goes 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9 with one remainder. Put down a 0. Notice how the remainder is never going to change. 3 into 10 goes 3 times, or the remainder of 1. Every single time, we'll have a remainder of 1, and we'll divide 3 into 10, and we'll get 3, and we'll put down another 1. So it's an interesting way of looking at how we get the recurring decimals. Let's have a quick look now at another recurring decimal. 2 divided by 11. Here, we've got this interesting pattern, 0 0.181818 keeps going forever. So if I wanted to write this correctly, using correct notation, 2 over 11 equals, write the decimal with one copy of the repeating part, 
If we're using dots, we put a dot at start and end of the repeating part. If we're using a bar, we put a bar over the entire repeating part. So 0 0.18 with a bar across the top. So if we had to answer some questions, if we wanted to write these recurring decimals using correct notation, 0 0.16666. You'll notice the 1 doesn't repeat, it's only the 6. So that's 0 0.16, but the dot or the bar only goes over the 6. If we put the dot or the bar over the 1 and the 6, that would say it was 0 0.161616, repeating forever. Our next example, 0 0.123123, here we've got a three-digit repeating pattern. We write the decimal and include one whole copy of the repeating pattern, and we put a dot on the first and last digit that repeat of the repeating pattern, or of course 0 0.123 and a bar over the entire thing. Not the zero, of course, over the one, two, three. And our last one, 1.2 repeater. Two different ways that we could write it with a dot or a bar. Either one is perfectly fine. You can use a dot or you can use a bar. Both of them are acceptable. So if you are asked to re write recurring decimals with the correct notation, either one of these methods is fine.